everybody. Uh, Scott Kelby here. Welcome to another live episode of The Grid. Joining me is our special guest today, Mr. Eric Kuna. Hey, so how you doing? If you're going, hey, he doesn't sound that familiar. He should. Because Eric is the voice of, no, <laughs> he's not. Eric is Vice President of Operations here at Kelby One. And um, he is also kind of an expert at this whole photo walk thing because Eric was one of the guys at the very beginning who was like, we need to do more with this than just walk. Yeah. <laughs> and you've been here from the beginning yeah. of it. Of course, Eric's been here many years. But Eric um, uh, was basically like, we, ha we have to walk for a bigger purpose. And we were already supporting the Springs of Hope on many other projects and he was like we got to bring this all together and that's and yeah absolutely because that was a that was my big thing i mean it's it's awesome the photo walk in general just in in general but doing it for a purpose um especially um i've noticed even in the photo photographic community like we all want to you want to be doing something of impact we want to you know you know with our work and stuff like that but actually being able to see what we're able to impact is, a, is a, it's, it's an awesome thing yeah, I, I may have to tell the story of how it, it all came about. It's a weird story in, in the days, yeah. but but uh, now it's really grown into something. We're going to talk about that. We have a lot to talk about. There are uh, there's a lot of news going on, right? There's a lot of things happening in the photo community. We're going to start with that kind of stuff. We're taking your comments. We have some uh, we have some regulars. I see <laughs> Fran Hughes is here. Oh hey, hi Fran, welcome. Now, if for Fran, it is what time is it? It's ten o'clock at night. Six hours ahead. Yeah. It's either nine or ten. There, Johan. Johan is uh, is uh, dropping in from, I believe, Johan is in the Netherlands. And uh, Michael is from Ireland. Oh, oh, that is. He says, hello from beautiful Ireland. Man, you ain't kidding. Annette from, or Annette from Hungary, another beautiful place. There's so many beautiful places in this world. Mm-hmm. There and you Except know what? We have a thousand six walks in one of those places. <laughs> Joshua says hi, everyone. Good afternoon, Carl. Everyone's saying hi. Thank you guys so much. Of course, hey, before we get into the news, we have giveaways as always. You know what we're giving away? Ooh, new book. <laughs> Brand new book. So new. I don't even have a copy. Okay, I have one copy, but. Uh, it's called the Lightroom Mobile Book. It's brand new. It just, it's literally hitting bookstores like right now. And uh, it, mobile's where it's going. I mean, mobile is really where it's going. Oh, okay, so I want to talk about a little bit of the big news. Adobe this week announced that the camera in Lightroom Mobile is shooting DNG RAW. I know, I'm excited about that. Right. I've become like an iPhone shooter almost exclusively. Right, so. I know. Well, here's the yeah. thing. So... Adobe, if, if you go, if you go to, I hate to plug my blog. No, I don't actually <laughs> go to, <laughs> go to lightroomkillertips.com. And I did an article about it. And in that article is a link to Adobe site. And Adobe shows you the difference of shooting the exact same scene in JPEG on a phone mm -hmm. and raw on a phone. I think it's actually more startling on yeah. a phone, the difference than on a DSLR. I Absolutely. really do. And when you see their things, you're going to go, oh, I can never shoot in JPEG on a phone again. Now, I, I, I ordered the iPhone 7. And um, by the way, since I said that, that's, that is a cue for half of the audience yeah, to become no, angry. Yeah. You know, it's just on my Facebook page. I just mentioned this the other day. I said, hey, this thing came out. It's new. And it was it, the very first comment started a war. Well, the Samsungs have that. Blah, blah, blah. No one mentioned the Samsung. Well, <laughs> no, yeah, no probably because brought up Android. Probably because the they're word. blowing up right now. Android <laughs> wasn't uh, wasn't even mentioned. Don't don't oh, don't I'm be sorry. that guy. I'm sorry. Don't be that guy. No, I your mean, phone's fine. Whatever phone you exactly. have, it's delightful. What's right for you is right for you. What's right for me is right for me. Right. That's we what can it is. all have other stuff. Can't we we don't all, just all get have along? to have the same stuff. It's okay. I ordered an iPhone Seven Plus too. You ordered an iPhone Seven Plus. That's yeah, one I got. Yeah. yeah. I, iPhone yeah. Seven Plus. I want that two cameras with the. Little yeah, movie yeah, thing. right. That's the two cool. cameras and stuff. Oh, we're I, so here is where the article is right there. Thank you, Meredith. <laughs> She's on the ball there. And in there's a link to Adobe's. Go see that. But I give you all the, the scoop and which cameras work. You know, it doesn't work on every oh, iPhone. Gonna, that's it has be, to be. That's awesome. A, it has to be a 12 megapixel iPhone. Mm -hmm. has to be. All right. And that, that really limits the number of. Yeah. Because my phone here that I have in my pocket is uh, an 8 megapixel. Yeah. I did not upgrade to the iPhone the 6S or whatever. Plus. So I have the plus, yeah. just 6 plus. And that won't work. So, anyway, order the new one, so let the hating begin. 
All right. right. So uh, look at that. We got all kinds of people saying hi. Uh, Good day, Eric from Snapping Shark. Peter from Peter from London. Not not the other Peter. This is the the other Peter. (laughs) I just got to Eric. Josh was sending us out. Hi. Die photo. And Fran Hughes says, I can't wait for the photo walk. Wait, I want to talk about that in a minute, Fran, because there's there's an interesting thing about it, about photo walks in general I want to talk about. But a couple other new things. So we know that that Lightroom Mobile, we're going to give away, by the way, three of these today on the show. Three of them, three copies. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, we will send it to you. It helps if you speak English because it's, it's in English. But anyway, it's hot off the press. And you know what's nice? It's not a super thick book. It is... Well, that's what I love about that book. 135 it's just like pages. One tip, one page. Yeah, I mean, it's easy. Yeah, it's it's, like it's, something it's I one could thing just, per page, boom, right? Boom, boom. So it's one tip per page, one thing. And so that way, if you want to know how to do a particular yeah. thing, like how do I add a vignette or how do I apply or whatever. And so maybe we have a trailer on it. I don't know if we're going to. Does Meredith, is she showing the trailer? Juan says no. Oh, it's so good. Can't we get it, Juan? It's so awesome. It's so awesome. Because the book is so awesome. The book, the book is <laughs> so awesome. It deserves an epic trailer. I saw the trailer yesterday, and it was really, really good. But Juan, Juan just looks at me and says, no. Here's why. They have to have a ceremony when, it, when a new trailer comes out. They, they light candles. It's very complex. Anyway, Mark Rodriguez <laughs> is in the house. Hi from Brandon. I love Mark, that. I th- Mark li- in Brandon? I thought Mark lived in Orlando. Anyway, I love, Mark. The, I love the uh, Kurt Waltz, or uh, I heard that uh, folks who bought the Samsung phone are having a blast. Oh, yeah, uh, Kurt Wall. I heard that folks that bought the Samsung phone are having a blast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Wow. All right. Hey, you know what I saw today? Aurora HDR Pro 27, the 2017 uh, is open for pre-orders. I just saw it. I haven't looked mm-hmm. at it. I haven't used it. I haven't downloaded it, of course, because it's a pre thing. But um, I can tell you, I think that has become the HDR app. Oh, I, that's a, I love that one. I think and I actually found out about that one when you guys did that special on the grid, on it, right? Yeah. And I downloaded it, and well, it is awesome. It's it is, so easy it's to it. use. It is the it's HDR like intuitive. app. It's like oh. it left and like photomatics far. I'm behind. not a photo- photographer, photographer, you know, but it's awesome. You're an iPhoneographer. Yeah, <laughs> I love those people. But I still use that Aurora. <laughs> Hey, so another thing, two other real quick things we got to get going. I have a demo for you here in a second. First, Apple's photo app has added a new memories feature. Have you seen that? Mm-hmm. It takes a while. To, yeah. to, it, it takes a long time, depending on how many phones, photos you have on your phone, to basically generate. But it, it does a little – it's doing a lot of smart – Face tagging and all kinds of stuff like that. It's it's right. it's very clever. So t- if you when you download the iOS 10 update, go to the Photos app and click on mem. There's three little things. Click on Memories and it's it's done some organization and layout for you. It's very nice. Number three, this is big. So last week we did a, a webcast with Jeff Leinbach. Yep. Jeff was here and Jeff and I was complaining to Jeff. If you guys on my blog on on my Scott Kelby blog. I did a video tour of the backpack I took with me to Iceland. Yeah. It had a lot of good things about it, but it was very heavy. Very, very, very heavy. And and needed some more pockets. So I'm telling I'm whining to Jeff about it. And he goes, Oh, you gotta get the think tank sling bag. I'm like, what? What? Oh, you gotta get this new bag. It's called the think tank. I I, I have the name for it. Here it is. Hold on. I'm gonna show it to you in a second, but I wanna build it up. It's the think tank. Turnstile sling bag, and and you they come in small sizes five, ten. I got the ten because he said to get the ten. It, it is awesome. I'm taking this bag with me on my photo walk, and now I'm going to demo it. First off, mm. it's it's a backpack. It's super small and super lightweight. Ready? Here it is. Look at how small it is. Hmm. How small is that? It weighs nothing. Wait, here. Pay. Oh yeah, it's like nothing. Mm-hmm. It's like air. You're like you're holding a bag of air. All That's right, cool. now here's what's cool about it. Here's what made me fall in love with it. All right, so it is a backpack, but you don't wear it like a traditional backpack. It goes yeah. over your head this way. It's so like it, a sling. Yeah. It's a sling. Yeah. So it goes around your back like this, and it looks like a backpack when you're walking. Hey, I got a backpack. And you're walking with sticks and stuff, right? Okay. Yeah, but then you can pull it to the front. But then oh, when, you awesome. wanna, when you want to change lenses <laughs> or even change bodies or whatever, you just pull it around. It comes right in front of you. I put it on upside down. Okay. Rewind that. But we need still, to. Still, we can hey, imagine. Can we that. cut? Can we cut? Can we rewind that so they can. So they don't see this part. And it comes around. So you come around that. All right. Okay, start start taping again. <laughs> Five, 
four, four three. three. Okay, so you bring it around this side and it opens right up. Look, you can put three lenses in there. Now, I would leave one of these empty. So when you take off a lens, you have a place to put it and you pull out the next one. You can configure it to hold a body. You could put a 70 to 200 in there. That's awesome. Dude, it's awesome. And it has a sleeve right here for an iPad. Yeah. Then it has another pocket in the front. And it has all these little sleeves, the things that were missing from the other one. It has all these little things like the kind of the my right. Mm -hmm. like, they got this thing called my other brain or whatever it's called. Yep. It's not exactly that, but it has these little slots and stuff where you can put filters and cards and all the things that you would carry. And it weighs nothing. This is the dream. Because when I was in New York a few weeks ago, I forgot to bring any kind of camera bags. Well, mm -hmm. I had my rolling bag, but it was too big. Well, I wanted to go to the top of the... Um, Rockefeller Center. Mm -hmm. So I went to B and H, as you always do. <laughs> right. You can't 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 be a B and H. And so I go to B and H, and I bought a camera bag. Now I'm up there with my camera bag sitting on the ground, and and there's a hundred people there, so someone could come and grab my thing. So I basically have to keep it over my shoulder. It's falling off. I mean, I was I was miserable with a lens bag. Right. Just a lens bag, miserable. This I cannot wait. This is going to be on my photo walk with me. So if I see you on my photo walk. It'll be there. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't fall off your shoulder or anything. I mean, it's pretty sturdy. That that doesn't go off your shoulder. Yeah. It goes well, around. around, but it doesn't slip or anything. Oh, I don't know. I haven't tried it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It looks cool. Puggle, it looks awesome. Puggle says, it's a baby bag. How cute. It is. It's a baby bag. All right. Now, Alan Hess obviously has tried the new Aurora HDR because he says he loves it. He says, love the new Aurora HDR. So mm -hmm. he probably got. Um, all right, Patricia, here we go. Unsolicited testimony. That is my, in all caps, favorite camera bag for short hikes. Right? All right. Mm -hmm. And Cindy from Cyan Pixel says, no iPhone 7 hating for me. Excited for my new phone. Yay. Awesome. All right. We're going to talk about the photo walk and a whole bunch more. We have some prizes to give away. Uh, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to dig in. We're taking your comments. We're saying hi to Martin from Germany. We're saying, look at that. Also from Germany, Alexander from Cologne, Germany. I love the way that place smells. Wait, <laughs> wait, and we're out. Hi, everybody. Scott Kelby here. And... Have you ever seen like a really beautiful photo, but then the photographer like put some type over it or put some type beside it and the type looks so bad that it like destroys the photo? You've seen it, I've seen it, we've all seen it. It's just a sad, sad thing, but it doesn't have to be that way. That's why I created this brand new class called Designing with Type. You're gonna learn the fundamentals on how to design with type and you're gonna learn four important things. Number one, you're gonna learn a bunch of cool Photoshop type features, which is always handy. Number two, you're gonna learn exactly what not to do and why. Number three, you're gonna learn some formulas and recipes that you can use every time to create great looking type. And number four, I'm gonna share some of my most useful and favorite fonts. So check out my brand new class, Designing with Type. It's exclusively here at Kelby One. Well, hi everyone, Corey Barker here, and I want to tell you about my newest course on advanced compositing and finishing effects. Now, what we're going to be doing is going through the entire process. We're going to be selecting and extracting a subject, building a background element, and we're going to be adding lighting and particle effects to create a really dramatic look. So, we're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to learn a lot of really cool things, and be sure to check it out exclusively at KelbyOne.com. Hi everybody, Mike Cabasi here. Check out my new class, Flat to Flattery. We capture images with a two-dimensional tool. I'm gonna to show you how to light so that your images look three-dimensional. We're gonna teach you how to uh, create depth in your pictures, some texture in the background, how to uh, put a key highlight on the hair, and uh, make your images look flattering. Check out my new class on Kelby One, Flat to Flattery. Hey, we... <laughs> We are back. All right. So just a couple things, a little housekeeping things. Uh, so um, first off, uh, tomorrow uh, we we are going to, we have a new class. You know, every Thursday at Kelby One we have a new class. Tomorrow I'm excited. 
Our class tomorrow is on the just released Canon 5D Mark IV. Yeah, that's awesome. Right, so if you want to learn it, and there's a lot to learn. That was um, quick, too. Yes, it was. Oh, it was only. very quick. So we have the class coming out tomorrow. We're really excited. Our video team worked double hard to make sure that we could get it out for tomorrow. It's, it was mm -hmm. quite a bit of work, and uh, it's with Larry Becker, and Larry is wonderful mm -hmm. at teaching these things. He just has oh, a He's gift. so good at the camera class. <laughs> I is love him. He's so good. So anyway, that'll be available for Kelby One members tomorrow. Now, last week's class, and this was not planned this way, it just kind of came out this way, was the Canon 80D, which also Larry did. However, you're thinking, oh man, all your classes are on Canon. We already taped a class on the Nikon D500 yeah. with Larry. <laughs> so, now, we didn't determine, when is the uh, Nikon uh, D500 coming out? Two weeks? Oh, she, she, okay, a couple, couple means two. two so, so three, goes, I go two uh, weeks, she says a couple, couple weeks. weeks. So it's going to be within a couple of weeks. But anyway, we have that one in the bag, the, the Nikon. Because this is one of the things we think. If you join Kelby One, right, and you're a photographer, we should have a class on your camera. Right. Right. You shouldn't come yeah. here and go, oh, great, I want to learn my new camera. No, wah, wah, wah. We have a ton of, of classes just on how to learn your camera. Of course, that's we just don't one. Have every one because it's hard to make a class for every camera. Yeah, we but, have every main you know, camera. Like main if you camera, bought some yeah. obscure camera, we have like the Sony ARs, we've got the. Well, we still have the basics if you like you have a manufacturer. Like, you know, like. Yeah, but we have, dude, if you, I went through this morning and Yeah, looked. we have a lot. We got a lot. Like if you go yeah. through the Nikon list there, yeah. you've got all, I mean, there's the, the D750. There's the, yeah. the, the 5,500, the 5,300, the 51. I mean, yeah. now sometimes they do an update and it's like they added four features. Mm -hmm. Then we do a very short video that says, here's what's the difference between the old one and the new one. Right. So, but sometimes anyway. you can just go to there and, um, you know, the, the older ones, you know, if you have an older camera or a newer one, a lot of the stuff will apply. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Some questions here. Um, Adam Colvin asks, the 5D Mark IV for sports or the 7 7D Mark II or the 80D? All right. I can answer this for the between the 7D Mark II and the 80D, absolutely positively the 7D Mark II. The 7D Mark II was born for sports and wildlife. It is that is an unbelievable camera for the money. It's an incredible deal because it really is a baby 1DX. I mean, mm -hmm. it's the little brother of the 1DX, it, and, it, and it is crop sensor. Yeah, so it actually, with the bit. same lens, you yeah. actually get closer and still have the same number of megapixels. So that's a big thing. The 5D, the 5D Mark IV is seven frames a second. That's kind of the entry point for sports. So yeah. that's, you can do it. And I see people right now on the sidelines with their second body being a 5D Mark right. III. The 5D Mark IV is better. The 5D Mark IV is better on a bunch of levels. Not only is every feature better, but the dynamic range is absolutely better. And, you know, people ask me, they go, well, how much better is the dynamic range? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what number to give it, and I can't find anybody to give me a number, but I can tell you the pictures look better. The dynamic range looks deeper. The shadows have more detail. It's just a, it's just a better quality photo. I would say of, of any camera I've shot, it's probably the best looking original photo. So forget all the specs. How's the photo look? They look outstanding. Standing. Well, and I think that's what me as not being like a professional, well, I guess somewhat professional, right? Um, I noticed that the things that we focus on so much really aren't the things that really matter to people, you know, and <laughs> at it's the end the of the day, looks. if the photo looks great, the photo looks great. You right. know, that's what it is. Now, with sports photography, because I've shot some sports, I've shot with you a couple yeah, you times. Have. Yeah. I'm so, frames per second is what matters. Yeah. I mean, Although that's he's really... an iPhoneographer, he has access to a lot of gear. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I love he... shooting. I love I love photography. I love yeah. videography. <clears throat> yeah. But... Oh, that's bad. By the way, that's how yeah. he, he came to us. He was hired as an assistant in the video department, like, a, yeah. and then little by little, he killed everyone that worked here until there was no one left, and he rose to the top where he's in, implement. No, no, but uh, no, he was very, very talented. He wound up running and building. In fact, all the thing, everything that we're sitting here, all the studios that we're sitting here looking at. This was Eric's design and layout. He was the guy behind it all. So now he, he has a, a desk job like me. And, uh -huh. <laughs> and meetings. Meetings. Our, our mm -hmm. life is meetings. All right. But um, anyway, so I just want to let you guys know, we, while we do mm -hmm. have two Canon classes coming out, we absolutely positively do have Nikon classes coming out too. And uh, the next one will be the Nikon D500. I know a lot of people have been waiting for it. It's supposed to be a great camera. I've heard nothing but good stuff about yeah. the D500. So. 
Anyway, check that out. That's coming here shortly. If you're a Nikon user, that's coming right up your alley. All right. We have lots of questions coming in. The bag name again. All right. The bag name is, it is the Turnstyle 10 Sling Bag. Now, you got to realize they have a turnstile like 15 yeah, and a turnstile 5. Yeah, look it up. There's like different sizes. Yeah, there's a, but I got the 10. Jeff recommended to get the 10. And the 10, as you can see, is, is really pretty good. So that's done. Um, could I introduce the young man to our right again? Ickle Dot. Hi, Ickle Dot. Was, um, was a couple of minutes late. Yes, his name is Eric Kuna. He is the vice president of operations here at Kelby One. And uh, you just heard he started here as a, a video editor yeah. and then wound up being the powerful overlord of video. And as we expanded and built this whole studio, this whole place over here where we're at this particular, we have another set of video on the other side, but the whole set that we're in here, everything here was all, all uh, designed by Eric. And if you were here in our studios, you'd see one of the clever things that he did. We have all these different sets, but he left the middle open. So if we need to go shoot on a different set, we could have the next set ready in 15 minutes because all the gear just slides to the next set. It's a very clever design. He's kind of a clever guy. Okay, um, let's 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 get to the photo. Wow. Let, let's get to the photo walk stuff. Okay, photo walk stuff. All right. So um, I, I was telling Eric before we went on the air. Do you know what the number one thing people tell me about a photo walk is? I don't get it. You walk around for two hours, and that's supposed to be fun. You just you just walk around and take pictures for two hours. Yeah, but it's not like that at all. It's not like that at all. Yeah. It's like being at a photography party for two hours. Yeah. First off. The, the mood of the people at a photo walk, that's the very first thing that you notice, right? The very first thing is like, everybody there is like, we're doing something together as a group. And I don't know what it is about getting together as a group. And I think we as humans, like, especially in bad times, we want to gather in groups. I think that we are naturally drawn to get together in a group, right? And so, you know, it's a weird time in the world. And this is a time to do something that is, that is fun, that it's it's totally a social event. This is it's not training. You don't have to pay. It's free. It, there is no. It actually becomes more like a community. It's more like a community yes. event. It's more like a networking or community event. But it, it's just fun because everybody around you is into photography. You know, and oh, they yeah. have this common common interest in common. You know, and then you end up talking about stuff that has nothing to do with the photo walk. Or you end up just oh yeah. Just, it's it's really cool. I'm at lunch at my, one of my photo walks, right? So the thing about a photo walk is it goes for approximately two hours and then you go to a restaurant, right? right. Or a bar or whatever. Yeah. So I'm at a restaurant and I'm sitting in, and I visit every table. Like I go sit with everybody at the luncheon at my photo mm -hmm. walk. But I start off at this one table because I have to order food someplace, right? <laughs> so I start talking to these people and uh, I'm saying, okay, so what do you do? And this guy says, well, I'm an ax murderer. And I go, what do you do? And this woman says, I'm a Delta jet pilot. I'm like, what? You're a jet pilot? I said, now this is years ago. I go, oh my gosh, my wife is studying to be a pilot. And she's mm -hmm. like, oh, well, let me give you my card. And if she has any questions about, you know, taking her test or whatever, have her call me. So I got her card and I got home and said, honey, you're not going to believe this. I had lunch with a Delta jet pilot today. And it's a woman and she said, you can call her. So my wife got stuck on something and she reached out to her on email. And before you knew it, we're on vacation with her in France. She's oh, with us. Yeah, yeah. I, we have dinner with her and, her and her boyfriend all the time. That's cool. And like we've done all kinds of stuff together. And it's just like you meet people and make friendships that you just don't expect. Mm -hmm. And I think that's a really, really cool thing. It's just, it is a, it's, it's just really, really fun. Well, and especially in, uh, you know, being a photographer, being somebody who's doing that, the type of work, even a videographer too, a lot of times we can operate kind of like alone. It's kind of like we're going it alone, you know, yeah, all the time. Yeah, no, you're we're, right. You know, we're getting hired for jobs or we're going out to do something. We, we work with the people for a day or so and then we're doing that and then we're going to the next project and we're kind of just kind of like, you know, a lot of, especially if you're freelance and like, so you never get to meet people in your industry. You never get to meet people who are that common goal where this nice with the photo walk is you can come together with people and actually have like you're not working for them or you're not trying yeah, to make you're a just hanging for them. out you're just hanging out so it's wow. just cool so that's anyway so that's i think um i think that is 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 great i really i hadn't thought about that aspect yeah. but as soon as it came out of your mouth i'm like he's right a lot of photography, i've noticed that in a lot of photo walks yeah. it's a very lonely thing mm -hmm. like it's you getting up in the morning at dawn or you oh hey barb is in the facebook hey, chat hey, right barb. now all right <laughs> barb is awesome awesome 
Yeah. She is. She's the yeah. greatest. So anyway, but it's a small world, right? And, yeah. I, and I met her sitting at lunch at a Greek restaurant. It was so awesome. And okay, back to our story. We got so many comments coming in. Uh, but I want to talk about the photo walk. But John, John asked, uh, is the 7D Mark II good for stadiums with bad lighting, shooting at high ISO of 6,400? All right, so John, it's not as good as the 1DX. The 1DX, I would think, is the king of high ISO for sports. It's, it's the best. It's the next. It's the best. I want, to, I want you to hear what I'm going to say because it's important. It's the best crop sensor for high ISO I've seen. Mm -hmm. But it's not a full frame high end cannon. So I, there's not really a good, can I tell you? <laughs> there isn't a great body for stadiums with bad lighting. Like you're shooting Friday night football. I'll tell you this I can stand in the middle, I could be like right in the middle on the 50 yard line of the best lit NFL field at F2.8, I'm at 1600 ISO. All right. If I lose one stop of light, if I go to F4, I'm at 4,000 ISO. So you can imagine what it's like Friday night yeah. at, at the local football field. So it's, you know, those, those, are, those are things. All right. So, um, boy, we've got a lot, lots. Gareth is a walk leader in London. Hey, I love photo walks. And mm -hmm. here we go. Jock's photo says drinking beer after the photo walk is a high point. <laughs> hey, can I tell you a real quick story? La so last year I did my photo walk in Sydney, Australia. And we all get together, and we're all sitting outside. It was so much fun. I had such a great... The, the Australian people are among the nicest, you know... Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're all sitting outside having a great time, and everybody's drinking beer. Because I ended my walk at 12 noon. So everybody's got beer. And so I bring up a beer that we hear about in America. What's the only Australian beer you can think of? Foster's. Foster's. I mentioned Foster's beer. These They're people like, were on uh... the ground. They're like, That's, that is absolute swill. <laughs> <laughs> to a man, there wasn't a single person at this, like, there's 50 of us. And they're like, they're like, no one drinks Foster's here. We're like, really? I thought, because, like, their slogan is Foster's is, is Australian Same for, for beer. beer. And they're like, Foster's is Australian for toilet water. <laughs> they were like, no one drinks it. It was, the, it was just the funniest thing. And so they're all laughing at me for even mentioning Foster's. That would be like, why would you mention that? You're crazy. <laughs> All righty. Hey, back to the uh, photo walk. Okay. So for those of you who don't know what it is, basically you, you go and sign up. You go to worldwidephotowalk.com. You sign up to be in a walk. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to search for the closest one to you. You go, okay, let's say that you live in, I don't know, Indianapolis. You type in Indianapolis and it'll show you the walk if there's a walk in that city. Now, you got to realize there's a thousand and six cities. There's actually more than that now. Yeah, but there's like a thousand forty something. A thousand forty cities around the world that have walks. They got walks in Greenland. They definitely got a walk where you are. So what you got to do is go search. When you see what the walk is, it tells you about it. We start here. Oh, we everywhere. end here. We have lunch here. That kind of thing. So if you want to join it, you just say, join this walk and you're in. Now, we only allow 50 people in a walk. The reason why you can't have more than 50 is because after 50, things get, it gets too crazy. It's right. hard. You can't find a restaurant that'll accommodate you. Like if you, you call a restaurant and you think they'd be thrilled to have 50 people, they freak out when you say you're going to have 50 people. It is not, they're not happy. They're like, oh God, 50, really? Oh, I don't know. I mean, they're, you'd think they'd be thrilled, right? Yeah, no, yeah. they don't want... It's hard to find one that will even accommodate 50. And when it gets really big, you don't get to re meet the walk leader. You just get to meet a couple of people. We want it to be something where it's really social. Right. Keep it at 50. You'll be there. So, uh, hey, there's one. Uh, NC Kelby fan says, I've made quite a few new friends, and we look forward to seeing each other every year. Oh, yeah. So, and, and I think the thing is, you sign up, and it's free, and you're in. You show up at the time, and, you, and there, you'll see a big group of people standing there. Oh, you can't like, miss it. We all meet by the big clock, and you see 45 people holding oh, DSLRs. DSLRs. You can't miss it. Now, here's the thing. We have iPad photographers yeah. and iPhone photographers that come, and they're yeah. absolutely welcome. Now, the big sponsor of all this is Canon. So Canon is the company that stepped up and said, you know what? This is an awesome thing, and we want to be a part of it. So they sponsor it. But there will be every brand that you can imagine oh, there. Oh, I remember going to one that was even uh, somebody brought their kid, and the kid had the little uh, kind of their little toy camera. Yeah, their know? toy camera. Oh, and it wasn't really a toy camera. It still takes a pretty good picture. Absolutely. Yeah. And so, um, so everybody's invited. It doesn't matter what you shoot. But I do want to tell you some things. Okay, so one of the things that's great about having Canon as the sponsor 
are the prizes. But can I tell you about yeah. a new category that we added this year? And Canon said, okay, we'll create a prize for it. And the prize is awesome. This, this is a new category for video shot during your photo walk. A lot of people will go and take video and they'll, and I see them, they send them in, they send them in. Can I show you one I found online? So here's one I find. This is from the Dallas photo walk last year. All right. And this guy says, I was uh, asked to be a guest walker at this Dallas arm of the 2015. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go full screen. I'm going to show you his, is it okay to go full screen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show yeah. you. This is just a little clip, but it gives you an idea of what a photo walk is kind of like. Let me show you how it that much <laughs> I started watching his YouTube channel about three years ago you know probably watched all the same ones you guys watch I, I've watched Scott Kelby stuff Zach Arias Jared Poland Chase Jarvis he's I, making this I got up him. so my goal was to try to invite him to see if he would come out you know and he did he I, I'm blown away and thanks for thanks for being well here. thank you that's yeah. a really nice thing to say thank you I just wanted to give you an idea. Uh, I also had over here. There's tons here, of them, though. I mean, hey, I did, an like, eight, yeah. I did an 18 second one from my Rome walk here. So here's me Hi, in everybody. Rome. Welcome to beautiful Bella Roma. Now it was raining this morning, so we had to cancel our walk. But now we're doing it again, and we have all these wonderful people here. Yeah! That was totally unrehearsed and, and spontaneous. <laughs> anyway, greetings from Rome. Ciao, everybody. All right, so, of course, the, the videos when you watch them on YouTube aren't, aren't jittery. <laughs> yeah. It's because of the airplane, airplane lag that yeah. we're doing here. All right, so f someone's going to win this category, right, which is video film during your walk. Canon is going to give away what's called the Canon Video Creator Kit. Okay, here's what it includes. The, the just-released Canon EOS 80D. All right, so the 80D is a great, great, mm -hmm. great video camera. Yeah. And we have a class on it, by the way. And... Their 18 to 135 lens, which was kind of designed to go with it, yeah. which also includes a Canon the power zoom adapter, adapter yeah. a Rode video mic, a 32 gigabyte SD card, a bunch of other goodies, a battery, a charger strap, the whole thing. You get the whole thing for whoever wins That's that. Awesome. Now, Canon has That's provided cool. all kinds of prizes. The grand prizes from Canon is always, last year it was a 5D Mark III and a lens. I wonder what it'll be this year. I haven't confirmed it from Canon, but I'm sure it'll be something very, very awesome. You know, it's going to be at least a 5D Mark III. I'll tell you, those videos that sometimes people submit, I mean, they're so creative. They're oh, so cool. Oh, some of them are so I good. Mean, that's where, I mean, it, I'll, I'm interested to see what people are going to submit this year. Yeah, and we get to choose the winners, so you don't have to, Canon doesn't have to... Uh, get sucked into <laughs> saying, well, I chose one and, you know, so anyway, but I, I want to read some comments here. Uh, Mark, Mark Barnett asks, will there be Pokemon on the photo walks? Only if you want there to be Mark, because we won't know that you're really catching Pokemon, but you won't be catching photographs or shooting video. If that happens, <laughs> Mark Swift says, well, there goes the Kelby Foster's deal. Yeah. I don't, I didn't think I was going to get a beer deal anyway, to be honest with you. I don't really live that kind of life. Uh, <laughs> cause you have to live your life like a beer commercial. Mine's more like a technology commercial. All right. Uh, Ray Casborn says, uh, hi, Scott, wish me sunshine in Ogunquit, Maine for my eighth annual photo. He's led one for eight wow. years at sunrise. He's doing his sunrise. My photo walkers haven't had a sunrise yet and they can be awesome as I'm sure, you know, so almost every year I get to Ogunquit, Maine, 
uh, we go there for the day. Now, we, we stay in Kenny Bunkport, and then the family goes to Algonquit. Algonquit is like a little town out of a movie. Oh, yeah. It's awesome oh, up there. I've been up it's there. Just, isn't it yeah, beautiful? It's and they beautiful. have a particular bakery that we go to get cookies, and it's like a thing mm-hmm. we do. And yeah. Anyway, I love Algonquit. It's great. Finding parking in Algonquit is not great. But once you do find parking, which you can park usually within 20 miles of it, uh, it's a lot of fun. Let's see. Uh, Clinton Ferrar. Hey, Clinton. I've walked all but one walk since the very beginning. Never the same place twice. Fun. It is a lot of fun. I wish more people would actually try it, right? Um, Diane says, a chance conversation at dinner after a photo walk introduced me to a whole new group of photography buddies in a new city. An awesome way to get acquainted. You know, mm-hmm. I, I found that too in uh, Australia. A lot of people that came to my photo walk were from all over. They weren't all right. locals, you know. I've had people when I'm like, I'm doing my photo walk in Venice, Italy this year. Venezia. So, um, and there'll be people coming from all over because I've already had people saying, I'm coming from Germany, I'm coming from wherever. So, mm-hmm. all right. Uh, James Kilgo says, will the leaders be included in the video? Yeah, the video category is open to everybody, so no problem. Uh, Barb Cochran, who's the most awesome person in the world, says, it will be amazing. All right. Charlotte Yarbrough says, this all sounds wonderful. Where to start for beginners? So, uh, Charlotte, this has nothing to do with where you are in your photographic journey. You can be brand new. You can shoot on your phone. This is just about getting together and having fun. So, Charlotte, whatever camera you have, whatever lens you have, Come on, join us. Oh, also, by the way, when you sign up for the walks, we send you like a weekly email now that gives you some tips, like mm-hmm. like what gear to bring and basically how to make the most of your walk. We talk a lot about safety. You right. know why? Because what happens, I don't have a camera here to show you, but people put the camera to there and you start walking around, you bump into other people, you bump into stuff. Obviously, safety is right. number one. And so... We want to make sure that everybody's safe and very aware during their walks. You know, don't walk down a scary looking place by yourself. All right. Joseph asks, do people use tripods on the photo walk? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Especially HDR people will be using tripods quite a bit. Now, there'll be photo walks at night. (laughs) Well, the other thing is you'll have people with the same kind of gear you have. And sometimes they'll, you know, hey, can I use this? Yep, there's a lot of loaning. You know, loaning gear. That's kind of, so it's a good opportunity to use other people's gear. Hey, here's something. Someone was at that Dallas walk that that I just showed. They said, lots of fun. So anyway, Charlotte, the important thing is it doesn't matter where you are, where to start for beginners. You go and when you... Yeah, when just go to the site, sign up, we'll walk near you, and that's it. And you know what else, too, yeah. is nice, Charlotte? It gives you a reason to go out and shoot. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't know what to shoot. I don't have anything to do. So it is it is great. It does it does expose you to that when you're walking around with 50 other people and you see what they're shooting as well. You know, you're like, oh, I didn't even see that. Or I didn't even, you know, it's kind of like... When you know you walk around with Jay Mazel, you start going, I didn't oh, even yeah. see that. You know, oh my god, that gosh. happens a lot at the end. Like yes. when you get together at the end, you oh, all and then walk you see the like the photos, route, yeah, that and they shot, just look yeah. and you go, where was that? Oh, it was right next to that drugstore. I was shooting everything on that drugstore. Well, it was up on the roof. Oh my gosh, it really is an eye opener at how the same people walking the same route come away with such different stuff. Absolutely, I'm interested. That's where the I'm I'm going to the. Uh, the one over at Epcot this year. That's You're where doing I'm the go. Epcot one? Yeah, that's where I'm going to go. Because I was like, you know, I, I've always been through Epcot, always, but it's, it'd be interesting to see how other people see it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love Epcot. Yeah. All right. Let's say uh, Jonathan says, shame I can't make the one this year. Uh, even though there are three of them, the local ones, it's the same, same time as his driving test. Good luck on that driving test. Don't hit photo walkers. <laughs> Crystal Elliott says, take me with you, I'll hold your gear. You know, Crystal, I would have taken you if it weren't for the sling bag. (laughs) Because now I don't need anyone to hold my gear because I've got a sling bag. No, I'm not sponsored or anything else by Think Tank. When I want a Think Tank bag, I do what everybody else does. I buy it, (laughs) which sucks. Anyway, here we go back to our story. Hey, we got a um, a shout out from Andres in Sweden and says, love your show. Thank you. And Rose Kieran. So, you know, she's from New Zealand, right? So she says, our group always looks to looks 
forward to our photo walk. It's the first one. So, you know, they're, they're uh, a day ahead. Right. So yeah. they have the first walk. And when I wake up in the morning, I'm looking at the pictures from Australia and New Zealand. Yep. It is very, very cool. And boy, do they have a, New Zealand is such an amazing place. So their, their walk is around famous, the famous lake in Hamilton. So you guys have a very great, cool. great time there. Uh, Carl says it's going to be my third walk here. And I think in Colorado, all right, Johan says, it's great fun to do a photo walk, and the leader of the walk uh, is uh, Frank Doerhoff. So the leader of the walk that Johan does is Frank Doerhoff. How do you get that? You get <laughs> Frank Doerhoff as your leader? Oh, my gosh, how lucky. He goes, I already know I'm not going to win first place in the photo contest, but you've been to Amsterdam. What photos should I make to still have a fair chance? Any tips? Okay, so Johan, you know what I would say? I'm disappointed that more people don't enter the photo contest. Mm -hmm. 50 people will walk and 16 people enter or 18. That number one tells you your chances of winning are pretty high. Right. But this is what I've learned after judging many, many contests and, and, being, and seeing other contests being judged. You never know what the judges are going to pick. Don't think that you're out of, out of the loop, Johan. You never know when you're going to take the picture that is just going to speak to them. I can tell you, if I were going to give you any tips, Johan, I would give you these tips. You're not going to win with a perfect exposure. You're going to win by taking a shot that makes people go, wow, that's cool. Mm -hmm. So don't worry about the technical stuff. Honestly, Johan, you could set your camera <coughs> to program mode and forget about all the settings and just focus on trying to find a, something that's going to tell a story Yep. Something that's going to be different, interesting. It can be how you compose it. It can be so many different things, but it will never be about the technical aspects that are going to make you win that. So, well, But isn't that photography? That is, that's, that's the problem. That's, is we get so consumed, and videography the same, because that's what we get so consumed about the, the technical aspects. But really, at the end of the day, it's all about how it speaks to somebody and how, how they feel when they see the image. That's all it is. Oh, it absolutely is. And yeah. so, so don't, don't worry about all that stuff. Focus yeah. on trying to tell a story because you know what? Storytelling photos, I mean, photography is storytelling. Right. And really just on that two hours, keep your eye out. I look mean, for interesting things. Look for interesting combinations of colors, yeah. you know, because there is no, because you know what? I, I look at all 1,000 cities. I look at the winners from every right. 1,000 to pick the grand prize and the 10 finalists, right? And one will be a bird, one will be a can, one will be a person, one will be a puddle, one will be a reflection. There is no, this is the secret to win. But I can tell you what, if you don't enter, you will absolutely lose. I will say, like, for me, like, if, if I give one piece of advice, and it's a, kind of a shameless plug, but here, uh, uh, but if you were to go to watch uh, Jay Maisel's classes on Kelby One, his classes Ooh, that's will a good get tip. you to see what you, you know, like, like what you're just talking about, the light, the gesture, the, the story, the color. I mean, he's so good at that. I he's mean, I got a good walking, point. Walking around with him. I mean, he made me just change the way I saw. He's uh, got a good point, Johan. Yeah. Go watch Jay Maisel's yeah. classes. On, I you think I'm to. pretty sure Johan is a Kelby One member. Yeah. Go watch the Jay Maisel's. Watch a day with Jay in Paris. It's a week. Any, it's any, a week with Jay. There's a whole series of them. There's yeah. three of them. And I mean, every one, it's like every, you know, you get these nuggets out of it and they just stick with you forever. And you just, you can't, you can't not hear his voice when you're taking photographs again. Absolutely. Yeah. Pranay says, I'm leading my first walk at the Notre Dame University in South Bend. What a great walk. You know, I shot in there, in, there, in the stadium there at, at, at Notre Dame. Uh, and uh, what a great campus. You're going to have a wonderful walk there. Uh, Joseph uh, asks, where do you sign up for the walks? So go to worldwidephotowalk.com. That's it. Mm -hmm. You'll find, click on the button, find a walk. And let's see. Uh, okay. So Kelby One Fan says, it's, it's hard to want to enter when most photos that win are from India or some other amazing place not in the U.S. Scott, do you have any suggestions as what else to photograph in Florida, meaning it's Florida, not Venice, Italy? Are there any themes? Help, I want to join one around Disney, but I'm at a loss because it's Disney. Most of the stuff is copyrighted trademark to them. So here's the thing. Even though it's copyrighted and trademarked to them, you're not using them for commercial purposes. Yeah. You're not going to go sell them to someone to use yeah. in an ad. You're, you're taking pictures. These are your own personal shots yeah. you're taking for your own personal reasons. Um, I would say this is um, the, it, they're not always from India. They're not always from, but I, a lot of them are from, from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on in the Philippines, but they have some yeah. great, great, great photographers. Now I'll tell you this. 
Outside of the United States, there's probably no other country that has more walks than the, the Philippines. Philippines. The yeah. Philippines, they the, they oh, they like come out dense. for this walk. They and their shooters are good. Do you know that I had a Philippine group join my Paris photo walk? Yeah. We okay, Jen? Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> I thought maybe we went down or something. Yeah. Oh, we went down and we came back up. Okay. All right. So now anyway, we're back. So <laughs> hey, we got uh, greetings from Arcadia's. Arcadia's. How about we use the last name? Ozeminski, good evening from Poland. Thank you for watching all the way over there from Poland. Thanks very much. Steve, Steve Getz says, I'm going to go on my first photo walk this year. He got the t-shirt and everything. The t-shirt. Awesome. Okay, so Eric mentioned at the beginning of the show, the Springs of Hope, because all this stuff is fun. All this stuff is great. But we kind of have this thing that we support as part of the Photoshop, uh, as part of the photo walk, excuse me. And every year we raise money for them. So far this year, through contributions, T-shirt sales, which, by the way, 100% of the T-shirt sales go to the Springs of Hope. And contributions on, uh, what's it called? Generosity.com. Yeah. Yep. We, we've got 7,450 raised there. And that's 21% of our goal, is it? Yep. 21% of our goal, and you can go there right now and, and donate. So the best way to get there to our page is to go to worldwidephotowalk.com, and I believe there's a donate button right up in the top. Is it Where is it at? Right there, right up in the top corner, and it'll lead you right there. So go to worldwidephotowalk.com. We, we are encouraging. We're not, it's not, you, nobody has to do it because the photo walk is free. But we're encouraging walkers to give $1. Now, you can give more. You can give $5, $10. There are people that give $500. There are people that it's way out of whack oh, yeah. that they give, and it's great. I've had people give $1,000, yeah. right? That's awesome. But when you go to generosity.com, if you just give a buck, if we all give a buck, we'll be there. So we're almost close to, uh, wait, we're getting close to $11,000 yeah, 11, raised so yeah. far. We're trying to raise $35,000. That's our goal. And we still have a few weeks left. Now, most of the people wait till the last couple of weeks to join. <laughs> Right. So we'll probably pick up another ten or fifteen thousand people in these next just couple of weeks. So if you get a chance, go there and just give anything you can. Give a buck, give five bucks, or get the T-shirt. And there's a link on the Worldwide Photo Walk page. We have black shirts this year, white shirts, men's, women's cuts, all kinds of different stuff. Sweatshirts, yeah, long sleeves, hoodies. Okay, we have the whole. Yeah, here we go. All this stuff. Yeah. Go grab a shirt. Grab it now because there's still time for it to get there. And Absolutely. I always see people on the walks wearing it. I'm always yeah. so, because you know when you see someone wearing that shirt that they 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 didn't buy it because they needed a shirt. They did it because they wanted to help the orphanage. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And and the orphanage, while they are doing a lot of things, I, I think, to help become self-sustaining. Like they're doing ecotourism and they're well, building that's a, handbags. That's so cool about what they're doing. Like the, the, the self-sustaining part, I think, is awesome. But they still need, they need the support right now to get to that point of self-sustaining. And that's really right. talking to Molly and... The, and the guys over at Springs of Hope, that's where they're at, is they've they've really tried to put it too back to where they're supporting the local community and kind of making it to where they can be self-sustaining, but right now they just need the support and the funding to get to that point where they can actually uh, have, you know, a place where people can um, make bags that they can sell or have a place where they can actually grow their own crops or raise their own food or have a place where people can come visit and do ecotourism there. I mean, they just need an investment to get to that point of being self-sustaining. Right. And right but now, I love how they, they're thinking like they that. They really need a a bus. They need a bus to take the kids back and forth to school, to the mm -hmm. clinic, to wherever they need to go. They just need a small, it's a small bus. It's not a luxurious bus. Don't picture the buses like we drive. Mm -hmm. Don't picture a coach. It's a cruddy old bus. They need a cruddy old bus. We can really help them. But you know what? I, I got it. And this is going to sound like I'm whining. I'm going to go whine for just a second. So you, you go on some of these Kickstarter campaigns and some company is, is creating a camera bag. And I, I don't blame them for doing it. It's a good place for them to do. It's not about the company that's doing it. But you will see literally pledge to make a camera bag $2 million. $2 million that photographers have pledged to help a company make a camera bag. Yeah. We're trying to raise $35,000 total to feed starving orphans. And, and we're, we're, I don't know, obviously there's some allure to camera bags. Maybe what we should do is give everyone a camera bag. Yeah, but it's, it's, that, yeah. it's so frustrating. I see a Kickstarter campaign and literally $2 million people have pledged for a camera bag. And I'm like, I'm just trying to raise 35000 
for an orphanage. And everyone that signed up to get that camera bag is a photographer. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I mean, that's what, any little bit helps, you know. I mean, sure. I, look at, and I we mean, send you stuff we, if you we yeah, have, can we see. We can, have that to where, yeah. Control room two? Like, that, they are making stuff. I mean, one of the cool projects that they actually have there is that uh, Bagamoyo project where they're actually taking people in the local community um, that are affected by AIDS or, or and they're, they're kind of almost, uh, I say, shunned by the community. But what they're doing is they're able to bring them back into having a stable job and a stable work environment, being able to afford their, their medicine and their living and all that stuff yeah. by bringing them back into that. And then they're able to give back to the community by, by supporting the local community. But they, they basically, they make bags, you know, that then they sell, you know, there, but they're trying to sell here as well. And, um, you know, it's just, it's cool because it teaches them a life skill. It um, gets them out of that poverty situation, which, again, a lot of the reason they see that is because a lot of the people were having to abandon their kids because they were just in such extreme poverty. Oh, so yeah. These kids are literally off the street. These kids yeah. are literally on the street. And they are. They're trying to find a way. I mean, they're, they're going about it the way that you would want them to go about it. Because if, if they always just need a handout and handout, this will right. this this change will never it'll it'll always be like this but they're really being smart about it and they're trying they also know that when these kids grow up they have to mm. cut them loose now what are they going to do right and that's so, where they're actually employing them now in these right, programs right. i mean it's really cool because there was actually one of the students that grew up that's been there basically from the time we started the photo walk was a little kid and now he's a high schooler this is he's, nine years we've been he's, doing this. he's graduating now and you know the hard part is they have the education but they don't have a career to go to and they're actually one of the programs that they're looking to create over there is a program for them to actually start tourism over there and ecotourism because it's an awesome place to go i mean it's beautiful over there oh yeah you know but i mean they're they just need to get a point where they can send them somewhere or do something with them so they're not just left out in the cold again you know so it's 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 really cool how they're creating that self-sustaining kind of uh, economy over there where they're not just always having to go hey we're in need we're in need we're, we're actually creating it so we don't have to be always in need right and they're not there yet they're not yeah. there yet so we, we need to uh, absolutely we need to help them so if you could reallocate some of the millions for a camera bag and send a little tiny percentage of that over to the photo walk it literally will change someone's life let me tell you what whatever photo I mean this 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 bag I, I like it right and I bought it it was 79 bucks it was cheap um, but you know what? It, it's not going to change my life unless I mm -hmm. drop it in the water <laughs> with my gear in it. Then, it'll, then it will create a whole other thing. But it's not going to change anybody's life. It's just it's nice to have a camera bag. Guys, this is as serious as it gets. And you know what? Photographers actually have really big hearts. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the photography community gets behind all kinds of stuff. So anyway, we're just asking you if you And they give, have. Give they have buck. for years, and we've been, we've been doing really good with that. And, you know, at you know, we've raised as much yeah. as at the most we've ever raised is about thirty five thousand. Last year we dropped down to twelve. Well, here's the good news: we're almost at eleven now, yes. so we're going to beat last year. Now, part of that goes to Mr. Cooney here, who was was trying to find a way to make it easier for people to donate, right. and that's why we're with Generosity.com, which is part of Indiegogo. We're trying. He was trying to find a way to make the the process of giving that much ev and easier. And also to make the, the barrier, because one of the things that, we, you know, we, we, you know, a lot of people don't know about the photo walk is, you know, we, we, it's all volunteers. I mean, and we don't take a dime. We don't, oh, yeah, anything. we don't, we don't, we don't charge make, anything for it. It's no. all free. And it really, costs honestly, us a ton of money yeah, to if do you the think photo about walk. it, like we have, our web team did an awesome job this year about making a new, uh, web environment for people to sign up and, and, and do all that stuff. Oh, yeah, but, and Gene, Gene Gillibar, our Gene, leader coordinator, yeah. has been outstanding, awesome. just off the but chain. But all that is like we invest and we donate that time. We don't, I mean, we're not taking, all the money that we're raising goes to the orphanage, and that's one of the reasons we picked Generosity is because it's the only platform that we found where they would give 100% of the money there. Every other one took about yeah, 7% they, they took a or 5% right. or something like that. And it was the only one that, you know, there was limitations because we couldn't do API calls and pull it back into the website. But we were like, you know what? To give more money to the orphanage, it's worth we're it. worth taking the extra steps that we had to do on the website to mm -hmm. make it work. Right. So. And so also, 
Um, we do not, we don't take anything. So a hundred percent of the t-shirt profits, 100% of them. And by the way, a Rob Jones from Towner Jones photography, uh, was the guy that sets that up for us every yeah. year, runs the volunteer. program, vol completely volunteers. He just has a heart for kids. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and so he helps us raise thousands of dollars. We're right around 3000 in t-shirt sales, but like Laura Rudin says, everyone, Go buy a T-shirt or a sweatshirt to support the orphanage. Thank you, Laura. Yeah. Um, Fran Hughes says, what a great cause. We need to raise as much money as possible. Uh, <laughs> if we can hit that 35000 again, I really think Crystal Elliott says, I'll help. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. But you know what? This, this is one of the most important things we do all year long. And so, you know, number one, thanks to Canon for, for giving the prizes because people do join for the prizes. I mean, there's, there's, uh, you know, it is what it is, uh, but they've been a great supporter of what we're doing. Adobe is giving away mm -hmm. a bunch of prizes. We've yeah. a lot of companies that have stepped up B and H photo. Of course they, you know, B and H is always the first one to step up on stuff like this. Mm -hmm. They are always the first B and H is like, we're in, we're in. If you call them and say it's for charity, whatever yeah. it is, they're in. Absolutely. Um, so let's say Johan, Johan says we should all support and hope we'll make much more than 35,000. Come on help out yeah, yeah. you know what awesome. johan if we hit that thirty-five thousand, we will have done as best as we've ever done it would really make a difference and that's kind of that's why we set that goal for ourselves so we always want to yeah, set a goal a little higher than we want to be yeah. and that's where we're like you know if we can get there if we get there we'll have beat our our whatever we've done before and you know what can you imagine now you gotta realize where did this orphanage how do we pick this one this orphanage wasn't one we picked out of like a, an encyclopedia so Molly Bale, who wrote the blog post on my blog today, so go to scottkelby.com yeah, an and awesome read company. Molly's story about the orphanage. Yeah. That orphanage was a completely empty piece of land. There it is. There's Molly. Uh, that's well, not some, Molly. There's, there's Molly's the post. That's not Molly. Scroll down a little. Yeah, there's the kids. You'll see Molly's, Molly. Uh, go the down a little one. further. You'll see Molly. There's, there's Molly. Molly. So Molly, her husband, and, and their teenage son sold their house sold their car, sold everything they owned to move to Nakuru, Kenya with an empty plot of land. From, from to, here. From here. They yeah. moved here from where we are. Yeah. Um, they go to my church. That's, that's how we met yeah. them. They sold everything and moved there. And and when we heard they were doing that, we were like, look, Anonymous just it's donated again. again. High five. Awesome. I love your name, Anonymous 4833. There's the crops. That they, that's, that's the crops that are starting to grow there? Yeah, that's yeah. the crops that are starting it's to really grow cool. right there. But here's the thing. This, this is, it's 31 kids. They feed a lot more than 31, but they clothe, house, educate, and love 31 kids. And I mean, these, Actually, I, I want to say this. Look at that. These are now. These, it might be higher more it's, than 31. I think it it is was higher. 31. I think we just but you know about what it, it is? Can you imagine what it takes to feed 30 kids? Just 30 kids one day. Like if you had to take 30 kids to breakfast, yeah. <laughs> what the bill would be. So feed, educate. Uh, raise all that stuff. Hey, uh, Joshua says, I love what you're doing, Scott and Kelby one. So Joshua, this is the community thing. We, we just got the ball rolling. It really is the community that's doing everything here. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, die photo asks, can it be a nature photo walk? Yeah, yeah, it can be absolutely. in nature. In fact, there'll be some at zoos. There'll mm -hmm. be some at amusement parks. There'll be yeah. some literally at wildlife parks. It's it's wherever. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, oh, Peter says it is a it's a great post from Molly. So that's Molly mm -hmm. oh, oh, from go over to my blog, scottkelby.com. She's the guest poster. It's on Wednesday, right? All right. Fran says, any news on Photoshop World Florida? Yes. So if, if you go to photoshopworld.com, the official dates are there. I believe it is April. Oh, golly. We're going to go look. But <laughs> April the, the registration ish. opens October 17th. Am I right on that date? Um, yeah, I don't know if we're telling anybody that. Oh, we're not yeah, telling anybody that. Sure. But yes, in a few <laughs> weeks, we are opening the official registration. So there's already hundreds of people signed up because people signed up for April last year. April 20th there it is. through the 22nd. April 20th through the 22nd. So if you want to be the first to first know when one, it opens, right here. shoot over there and put in your email address, and we'll send you a note when it first opens. And you can watch a, a little video there, kind of a recap of the last one in Vegas. Mm -hmm. So we will be our next one will be in Orlando, we got Florida. This cool thing. You can add it to your calendar. You can add it to your calendar. Calendar, your iCal, your Google, your there. Outlook calendar. You can watch a video, but yeah, so it's it's coming up, and we're very very excited about it. Uh, we had such a great Photoshop World in Vegas. It'll be, mm -hmm. it'll be it'll be amazing to see the next one. Aloha from Hawaii, from Dustin. Uh, Neil asks, is it only one day a year for the walk? Yes, it's only yeah. one day. The official day is Saturday, October first. All around the world, everybody walks on the same day, except for Rose Kieran, who will be walking a day early. <laughs> and uh, let's see what else. Um, 
Oh yeah. So Justin says, Justin says, I would mention that you can change the amount to contribute to generosity so all of it goes to the cause. Well, all of it goes mm -hmm. to the cause either way. No, there is a part of generosity where after you donate, they ask you if you want to donate to generosity. Oh, to generosity. Well. Oh, yes. Oh, say so, yeah. And that's okay. the way they're getting around the fee. Basically, ah. they're not charging the fee, and that's the one thing we liked about them because every other one, they just basically put the fee in the donation. So if you're donating five dollars, it's taken away. Hey, Rose, just order a hoodie. There you go. There you go, Rose. Awesome. You, you're gonna want a hoodie because it's gonna no. It, what? It'll be warm there, won't it? They're in the southern hemisphere. You'll have a pretty nice weather. I, I did know. last year. Oh, I had great weather. Never been. All right. <laughs> Puggle says the photo walk website looks great. Well, thanks for doing, thanks yeah. to our web team there. Yeah. All right. John says uh, I'm from he's from the Philippines, but he's based now in Saudi Arabia. Hope to shoot hope to shoot at a photo walk if you can find one. So John, I think there is a photo walk in Riyadh. So give that a shot. I've never been to Saudi Arabia. I've always loved to go. Um, and let's see what else we got. We have so many comments here. Wow. Uh, Derek says, hey, there's one near me. I think I'll give it a try. We would love to have you walk there. Uh, Jacobs, hi from Denmark. Well, we got the international audience today, don't we? We got Martin and Alexander coming in from Germany. We got everybody. Um, and then uh, Die Photo said, I agree. Jay Mazel is awesome. Lighting, gesture, and composition. Oh, I'm telling you, if you watch his three classes and go uh, out, change your life. Yeah, the, the, absolutely. All right. Well, guys, we, we pretty much have run out of time. We do have some giveaways and stuff. I do want to mention just a few things. First off is I want to invite you to a photo walk that this is, it's called a photo walk, but it's not. I'm just going to call it something else. At Photo Plus Expo in, in October, I'm doing a location lighting photography class. We are going to go on location and do portraits. Hmm. They call it a photo walk. But when we're talking about photo walk, that's a social event. This is a class. So we'll just call it. Now, it's sponsored by Lexar. The people at Lexar sponsor me to do this. I love you, Lexar. They are sponsoring me to do this class. It is a small number of people. I think it's 20 or 30 are allowed, period. We're going to go out with uh, models on location, live models instead of the dead mm -hmm. ones we normally use. <laughs> and we're going on location. We're going to go on location using New York City as our backdrop, and we're going to, I'm going to basically teach the first technique and say, okay, now, and then everyone gets to do it. We break hmm. off into groups and shoot. Cool. We'll come back together. We'll do the next technique, and we'll keep building and building and building for a few hours. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Go to Photo Plus Expo to, uh, to learn more about that. You can find the, my, or just search for Scott Kelby. Well, if you search for Scott Kelby Photo Walk, it's not going to mm -hmm. come. In. Go look on my Facebook page or my Twitter feed. Go back and look on my Twitter feed and you'll find me. I mentioned it numerous times. Uh, so, and that's coming up here in uh, next month. Also, my personal photo walk, the photo walk that I am hosting, I host a different city each year. I will be in Venice, Italy. My walk is sold out, but I'm looking forward to meeting everybody there. And I'm going to, my brother's going with me. Calibra can't get away. Our daughter's in school and stuff. And she kind of, it's like, I'll go to the next one. Yeah. It's a shame because she has so much fun. And it, she is the most fun person in the world to travel with. Calibra is the mm -hmm. travel. She and I travel so well together. Anyway, but I'm going to be with my brother, who is the next best thing. But um, it's, uh, we're going to drive to the Dolomites Mountains. Mm -hmm. So it's a beautiful mountain range a couple of hours outside of there. And we're going to drive to Lake Garda. Really excited about that. I'm, I'm excited about meeting all the people. Yeah, that, like, well, that's right? a cool thing about the photo walk. Yeah. I'm going to be you meeting all kinds of new people I've never met before and probably a few that I have met, which is perfectly awesome. Um, also, uh, let's see. Uh, Joshua says, you saved my life, Scott. I've gone from disability to photographer. I have so much motivation now. Thank you. You are awesome. welcome. I wish you the best, Joshua. Yeah. And hey, look at that. Boxburg, Boxburg, South Africa watching. Andre, thank you very much. Crystal Elliott is going to get a shirt now. High five, Crystal. Bill Way today. Hoodie ordered in a Heather Gray. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Scott, will you be boating on your photo walk in Venice? Isn't that cheating? There is no rule. Johan, there is no rule about being on a boat, is there? Mm -mm. There's no rule no about rule. You can go on a boat. You absolutely can boat. You know, people ask a lot of questions like that. Well, can, can we bring a model? Absolutely. There's Has anyone any ever rules, won with a model? Yeah. No. But that doesn't mean you can't do it. Yeah. So, you can uh, do it. All right. Look at this. Nick Andrews says, ooh, the grid live. I've never seen it live before. So hi from Nick in the UK. Nick, we're glad to have you here live for the first time. And uh, uh, Callie says, have you heard if there is a walk in Phnom Penh, Cambodia? I know an easy way to find out. There actually is right there. There is a walk in Phnom right there. Penh. There it is. There it is. There Boom. it is, walk in camp. Can you zoom in on it? Mm-hmm. 
walk in Cambodia. Right there. It's a walk in Cambodia. Yeah, there you go. Wonk. <laughs> Anonymous says, I just spent 19 years as a crime scene investigator. Most of my models were dead. All right, there it is, Phnom Penh Photo Walk. Quick look over there. All right, anyway, we've run out of time. Uh, we, we do have couple, a couple things. We got a contest. We're going to give away three copies of my new, brand new book. Just came out, Light, the Lightroom Mobile book. And, of course, it's a big week for Lightroom Mobile because they added the ability to shoot from the camera inside Lightroom Mobile in yeah. Adobe's raw, raw DNG format. And that's pretty exciting. I don't think anybody's got their phones yet, but here's where you go to enter the contest. Go to kelby1.com slash webcast uh, dash contest. So kelby1.com slash webcast. Say that you're not a robot. A robot. <laughs> and just enter, and we'll pick a winner. doesn't matter where you are in the world because we're loose with money. We'll be glad to send it to you. We would even send it to Boxburg, South Africa if Andre wins, and I have no idea if you'll win or not because I don't pick the winners. All right. So Gareth says, is there a theme this year or a leader's choice? No, we pretty much leave it up to, because you don't want to say the theme this year is blank and then someone chose a zoo. Right. <laughs> you know? So we leave it up to, uh, to whatever you guys want to shoot. It's, it's, the leader chooses where the walk is, right? So, and, and in a lot of cities, there'll be multiple walks. Like there'll mm -hmm. be a lot of walks in big cities, you know, like, well, even little cities sometimes will have multiple walks. So uh, there's yeah, that. These, the themes just have fun. Meet yep. other people. Also, photographers, are you in Minneapolis? Because I'm there next Wednesday, a week from today. I will be in Minneapolis uh, teaching my my uh, Shoot Like a Pro Part 2, my Reloaded Tour. I'll be in Minneapolis on next Wednesday, which means there probably won't be a grid next week. I was trying to think if there was a way I could do a live cast, but I'll be, actually be on stage at 4 o'clock mm. next Wednesday. So there probably will not be a grid. We'll run a best of next week. And the next week... I'll be in Venice. So there may not. Now, I have a little more latitude in Venice. I might have to Skype in or do yeah, something. Yeah, we can get you an So it might be connection. Eric with yeah. me on Skype. Yeah. It might be a very short grid, like five minutes or something. But uh, anyway, so um, I, I will be, if you want to come to either Minneapolis or, in fact, I'll give away a ticket. If you want to go, if you're in the Minneapolis area or the Milwaukee area and you want to go, hey, by the way, next month I'll be in Charlotte. So we'll throw that in there too. If you're in the Charlotte area or Minneapolis, next week, Minneapolis. On Wednesday, Milwaukee on Friday, October 17th for Charlotte. Go to kelby1live.com. But we'll, if you want to win a ticket to one of those cities, remember the little giveaway box? Just enter the city you want to go to. We'll pick a winner. Dave Clayton. Hey, Dave. Dave, I'm sorry about your team. He posted a sad picture on, on uh, Instagram. Uh, he said his copy of the book arrived this week. All right. Mark, Mark Mc... McElroy says, first time watching live. I've been watching you on YouTube for the past year, though. Hey, I'm really glad to have people watching live. Yeah. Most of the people don't watch us live, right? We get watched mm -hmm. way more in repeat than we do live, but it is always really great there. Hey, look at that. Dave Clayton met the hybrid boys at a worldwide photo walk. There you go. Right? The hybrid boys. I think I met the hybrid boys. They were on my... <laughs> well, we had talked first on Twitter, but I met them in person first time on my London photo walk. Uh -huh. Hey, Phyllis says she saw my tour in Orlando. It was great. Thank you, Phyllis. You are awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, I want one last thing. I'll let you go. Oh, two things. Shutterbug Magazine. I don't know if you know this, but I actually write a column in Shutterbug. I've been writing a column in Shutterbug mm -hmm. for more than yeah. a year. It is a, it's called Ask a Pro. They chose the name. I, I didn't. They said Ask a Pro. And you know what I do to get the questions and answers? I ask a pro. No. Anyway, it is, it is a great uh, magazine. I love Shutterbug. I've been reading Shutterbug for as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, I write a Q&A column in there. So if you get a chance, pick up your latest copy of Shutterbug. You can also read it online. So go to Shutterbug Magazine online. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, let's see. So NC Kelby fan asks, does the Lightroom book have the latest update in the book? Well, the only update is it shoots in RAW. There's not really, yeah. it wouldn't even be a page. It just says you can shoot in JPEG or RAW, your choice. It's just awesomer now. It's just awesomer now is really what it is. <laughs> All right. And one more thing. The last thing was, I mentioned that, and I had one more thing to say. And Oh, yeah, tonight. Thank you, Juan. Yeah, yeah. Tonight, we're doing a free webcast. Everyone's invited. So the folks from Corel are here. So if you're an artist, you got to watch this tonight. We have Corel in the house. We're going to be doing a live free webcast. Is it 6 p.m. or 6.30? 6. 
It is at 6 p.m. tonight. Everyone's invited at kelby1.com slash webcast. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. And that's probably what Meredith's freaking out right now. Like, hey, I got to get this set up in an hour. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we got we to gotta, we gotta end it because we have a webcast on a different set here, one of the ones that Eric designed. So anyway, we're going to go do that. Um, Burn asks, will you be in New York for the Photo Expo in October? Yes, as a speaker. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bird, did you just tune in? <laughs> I'm doing a photo walk, a location lighting thing. At Photo Expo as a speaker. I'm also doing a master class on lighting as a speaker. You should, okay, you have to watch. You can't be doing something else while the grid's on because you, you get distracted. Anyway, thank right, you, Eric. Gotta, thank we you. We gotta go. Yeah, Meredith thank, is freaking out. Yeah, she is. Thank you she's for. She's turning red right now. She's turning red. Thank you for. Thank you very much for being on the show with me today, Eric. Thanks to oh, our crew um, here, everybody here. Meredith in the booth who's turning red. There's the, there's the web, web address. Oh, we, oh, we have a different address. Westcast. All right. It is kelby1.com slash partner dash webcast. Of course, that's where it would be. Yeah. It's, it's open to everyone. Kelby1.com slash partner dash webcast. That'll be tonight at 6 p.m. Come join me, the folks from Corel. They're going to do amazing things to photographs that you cannot believe. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Take care. Peace out. Go walk. Photo walk. <laughs>